Ever feel like your Windows 11 desktop is a clutter drunk drawer where you can never find what you need? Let's clear up the clutter and make your Windows 11 desktop 10 times better. In this video, I will show you step by step how to declutter your Windows 11 desktop and unlock its full potential. From customizing layouts to leveraging powerful tools and shortcuts, you will learn how to create a workspace that not only looks sleek but also enhances your workflow efficiency. Whether you're a casual user or a productive enthusiast, stick around to discover how small tweaks can make a massive difference in how you interact with your computer pretty much every day. And with all that said, let's get started. Tweak number one is to declutter your desktop. So if your desktop looks like this, there are two ways how you can basically change it. Now, the number one is to right click on your desktop, then make sure that you go to the view and uncheck show desktop icons. So this will basically give read of every single icon on your desktop but files are still there so if you navigate to the file explorer right here you can go to the desktop folder and here you will have basically all the files you previously had on your desktop right now they are just inside the desktop folder the next thing which i also recommend that you organize those files you can go here to the new click on folder and basically name it whatever and put some of the files which relate to the folder name inside that folder and this is how you can basically declutter your desktop. The tweak number two is to change your wallpaper. The wallpaper is something that you look at every single day and after some times it actually gets stale. So here I recommend some of the pages which I highly suggest you that you guys visit for the wallpapers. Now the first page is unsplash.com and here you can go to the wallpaper section on this website and here you'll find plenty of the images which I think are quite cool and are also in high resolution. Now the next one and these are more Windows specific wallpapers is the website called wallpaperhub.app website. So here you'll find also really really plenty cool of the wallpapers. For example you will have some of the collections like Windows 11, Windows 11 Glow, Windows 11 Sunrise and stuff like that and you will also be able to go to the other collections like like the October 2018 event and others as well. So here you will find plenty of the wallpapers from Microsoft. Oh, the next wallpaper website is called the wallpapers subreddit page. Now here you'll also find many of the cool wallpapers and really, really a lot of the images everything is free and yeah i will also put this link in the video description below now the fourth website is actually my coffee page here you'll find two wallpapers pack and uh, if you like them then i highly suggest that you guys use the link in the video description down below and check them out. The tweak number three is to add some widgets on your desktop. If you think that your desktop looks kind of boring, you can also always add some widgets using the Raymeter tool. Now the Raymeter tool is completely free to use tool. So with this tool, you will be able to add some widgets on your desktop. And some of the staples of the widgets are like the Mond Raymeter theme. And then we also have here Monterey Raymeter, which mimic the Mac OS design of the widgets and then you can always go to the deviant art and here you'll find also plenty of the skins and now let me show you how you can quickly install a really simple skin in this case mond raymeter theme if you go to this website which i will also put a link for in the video description right below the like button by the way and if you guys are enjoying the content so far make sure that you smash up the subscribe button as well now here on this website you will scroll down and click on download button right here and once you have this file on .rm skin and make sure that you have in your system tray Raymeter up and running. You can then navigate to your downloads folder and double left click on the mont rm skin file, click on install and then you can just close the settings and this is how you can basically install a very simple Raymeter widget on your desktop. Now, if you don't want any of the elements here on your desktop, you can just right click on the widget and click on unload skin like so. Now, the next tweak, the tweak number four, is to change your mouse cursor. So Windows already has some of the mouse cursors already pre-built inside the system. And if you want to check them out, you can go to the start here, search for the mouse, 
click on change the mouse pointer display or speed setting and then navigate to the pointers here. So here we can basically change to, for example, a Windows Black, a Windows Inverted, Windows default one with the extra large size and stuff like that. But you can also install custom mouse cursors on your system as well. And the website for the cursors, which I recommend is called DeviantArt. Then on the search bar, you can just search for the cursor and here you will find plenty of the options. And on this website, you will have to be registered and have an account for the download. So make sure that you create an account for it. And once you have the zip file, containing the cursor file from deviantart.com you can then navigate to your downloads folder and here make sure that you extract the zip file and then navigate inside the folder containing the cursor and here you will find the install.inf file now once here you will right click on it and then make sure that you click on the install and then click on open but keep in mind that not every cursor will contain the install.inf file. Now what you can do is to manually install this cursor as well. You can navigate to the start menu, search for the mouse, go to the option called change the mouse pointer display or speed, then go to the pointers and here you will basically browse for your cursor. You will go here to the browse, go to your desktop, navigate to your downloads folder where it contains the cursor file and if you have here for example the normal one which is cursor you will just click on it and click on open and here it should also change and now you'll basically repeat the process for every single option right here and then you will have a brand new cursor the tweak number five is to clean your disk now to clean disk on your windows machine it's quite easy to do so you will just need to navigate to your file explorer select the disk which you want to clean go to the three dots right here and select here cleanup now here you will find plenty of the options i highly suggest that you guys just select every single one of them and then on the bottom you'll find the option called clean up system files click on this as well and after additional scan, you will find plenty of more files to delete. Here, I also suggest that you guys can just select every single one of them like so here for example you will see that i will gain about three gigabytes but if you go here to the more options you can also delete some of the system restore points because i think you only need one so here click on clean up for the restore points as well and now just click on ok here and you should free some space on your disk now the tweak number six is to remove unused applications on your computer. So it's very simple to do. Just navigate to the start menu and click on the settings application. Here navigate to the app section and click on the installed apps here as well. And here I pretty much recommend that you guys delete every single application which you don't use on your computer. For example, Microsoft Teams, you can just click here on the three dots and and then just click on the uninstall and then just confirm to uninstall this program. The tweak number seven is to remove unwanted startup applications. So if you navigate to the start menu, you can go here to the settings, click on apps here, and then at the bottom, you will find startup option. Now here, I recommend that you also remove or turn off every single application, which does not impact your day-to-day -day use of your computer just like for example the arc browser the microsoft edge or the microsoft onedrive you can just turn them off right here or if you have very long boot startup times then i highly suggest that you turn them off as well the tweak number eight is to change the privacy settings of your windows 11 and disable the diagnostic data being sent to the microsoft now open your start menu navigate to the settings like so and here go to the privacy and security 
click here under the Windows permissions, click on general and here disable pretty much every single setting listed right here. Then navigate back to the privacy and security tab, go under the diagnostic and feedback and here make sure that you have here send optional diagnostic data turned off as well and here down below you can also delete it if you want to and this is what I will do right now as well. Then navigate back to the privacy and security tab. If you scroll down down below you will find here the option called app diagnostics and these are two other settings for the diagnostics which I also recommend that you guys turn off as well. These are some of the privacy and security settings which I think are highly valuable to change. The tweak number nine is to enable DNS inside Windows 11. Now DNS is the main name system and it will basically enhance your privacy and security while browsing the internet. Now the three DNS points which I highly recommend. The first one is called Mulvat, then the second one is Cloudflare DNS and then the third one which I pretty much use is called AdGuard and this one will also block the ads on your computer. Now to enable DNS on Windows 11 system wide is quite easy to do so. Here on this website which I will also put a link for in the video description down below you can download the OddGuard app or which is the option which I pretty much use is called the method number two to configure AdGuard DNS manually. Here navigate to the windows here and down below you will have a brief guide through of how you can enable it and here you'll have a three of the servers. Now I will just use the first one and I will just copy this server name. I will just copy it like so and then make sure that you navigate to the system settings of your computer. Now once here go to the network and internet and once in network and internet settings click on the ethernet here and once here you have here DNS server assignment. Click on add it here and this should be to automatic by default. Click on manual and enable IPv4. Click on this to be enabled and then for the preferred DNS make sure that you put in this string which I copied from the OddGuard website and this is pretty much it. Click on save and uh, yeah now you successfully enabled DNS on your Windows 11 computer. The last tweak, the tweak number 10 is to actually install Windows updates. You can do that by going to the settings and then navigating at the bottom of this menu to the Windows update section and here you will have a button to check for the updates and this is what I highly recommend that you guys do because you will not only get the new features you will also get driver updates as well as security updates for your computer. This is something which I highly recommend you guys doing so that you update your Windows 11 computer to the latest version or the release. This is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed a few of the simple tweaks which I mentioned in this video video. If you did, make sure that you smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure that you check out the first link in the video description to check out my brand new wallpapers pack. So yeah, have an amazing rest of your day, and I will guys see you in the next one. Peace.